We have some news on some NHL signings to discuss today, including Travis Sanheim of the Philadelphia Flyers, and we also have some minor signings as well for the Minnesota Wild and the St. Louis Blues. We'll discuss all that coming up next. Welcome back everyone to Top Shelf Hockey. We do have some breaking news here and some NHL signings to discuss, especially the news on Travis Sanheim and the Philadelphia Flyers. Now the defenseman had a pretty solid year last year, really was his first full NHL season, but he really became an important piece of that Flyers blue line uh, and is going to be a big piece moving forward, I do believe as well. Now he has signed a two-year bridge contract with an annual value of $3.25 million, so that's $6.5 million paid out to Travis Sanheim here over the next couple of years. Now, the Philadelphia Flyers have had a lot of moves that they've made here in the past couple of weeks. And even though they started the offseason with a ton of cap space, they are starting to dwindle down here what they have available. And they still have a fair bit of contracts left here. So, obviously, I like the signing for Sandheim. I think it's a pretty solid deal overall. That two years will allow him to, to really continue to improve, really solidify himself, and then hopefully cash in on a longer-term contract at that point. Uh, so, I do like the contract for the player as well as for the team. Uh, but let's take a quick look here at their overall salary cap space. What's left? and hear what players they have left to sign as well. Now, as you can see, the Flyers are down to just over $18 million left in salary cap space. Like I said, they've obviously made some other moves throughout the offseason, which is kind of eaten away here at their overall cap availability. They still have a fair bit of players left to sign, including defenseman Ivan Provorov. Obviously, he's probably going to be one of the more expensive contracts here, as well as forward Travis Konechny. Both those guys have certainly had pretty good starts to their career. Provorov might be more likely a bridge deal. I'm not really sure how neg negotiations are going there, but obviously his numbers were down last year. So I'm sure the Flyers will probably try to take advantage of that and maybe ink him to a longer term contract. But I guess we'll see. But either way, both those guys are going to eat up a significant amount of what's remaining here on the salary cap. They also have forward Ryan Hartman and Scott Lawton, and they still have to decide on a backup goaltender. It's not quite clear. I've seen rumblings that they're still considering Cam Talbot or Brian Elliott, but they are not completely opposed and maybe bringing in another goalie uh, as a free agent or possibly making a trade to acquire another goalie as well. I think the only one who's 100% not returning is Michael Neuverth, uh, but Elliott or Talbot, our possibilities, I guess, based on what we're hearing so far. So I guess we'll see. But if you take a look here at these uh, five contracts that the Flyers still need to sort out, that's not going to leave a ton of cap space there. So I would not be shocked to see a potential trade here. Now, of course, with the other moves that the Flyers have made and the trades that they've made here, they already have about eight defensemen now who can play at the NHL level. So it would not be shocking to see one or possibly two, but one for sure, likely get traded out. I mean, we've already seen them acquire Justin Braun from San Jose. Obviously, they have Provorov, Sanheim, Gosses Bear. They still have Robert Haig, Schlemko. They got Philippe Myers, uh, who had a pretty solid showing last year as well. Uh, they got Samuel Morin. Uh, so they have a lot of guys who can play here at the NHL level. So it wouldn't be shocking to see somebody get traded. There's been a lot of rumblings about Gosses Bear. I thought there might be a possibility he get traded at the draft, but that never came to be. Uh, there have been some teams linked to him. But I guess we'll see what the Flyers decide to do. But either way, in order to free up some cap space uh, and make sure that these other guys all have ample playing time, I do believe they will trade a defenseman at some point. It may not be right away, but I think we'll see here as we approach free agency that that more likely gets done sooner than later. Minnesota Wild have re-signed defenseman Brad Hunt as well. Of course, he's a, not a name that everybody's familiar with, but he certainly had a pretty decent last couple of years. Uh, he's an undrafted 30-year-old defenseman, but has had a fair bit of playing time in the NHL over the past few years. Uh, back in 17-18, uh, he had a pretty good showing here with the Vegas Golden Knights. He put up 18 points in 45 games and really was a pretty decent puck mover back there. Pretty decent skater. Certainly filled in uh, admirably on occasion there. Looked pretty solid. But then last year, he split the season between Vegas and and Minnesota. Obviously, Minnesota was relatively pleased with him. But this contract's only 700 k here. Not a long-term risk at all. And the way he's played uh, between his time in Minnesota and Vegas between last year and the year before, I certainly think he certainly deserves another opportunity. Of course, many teams need to have some low contracts like this to offset some of their other veterans making more money. So I think this is a pretty solid deal for Minnesota. And the St. Louis Blues have re-signed Jordan Nolan to a one-year two-way contract as well. The NHL level will pay him 700 k as well. Uh, obviously, Nolan spent a good chunk of the year last year playing in the minors, uh, played limited action with the Blues, but certainly a veteran guy who can be very useful at times as well. Uh, so obviously, the Blues have a lot of other contracts that they need to take a look at here as well between their UFAs and RFAs. But this is a pretty...
already low risk signing again for St. Louis. Keep him around for one more year. Uh, you know, he very well could spend a big chunk of that playing for their farm team. Um, but I guess we'll see either way. Pretty low risk signing there by St. Louis to keep the veteran forward around. So that is all your latest news regarding NHL signings for today. There's likely going to be more coming here over the coming days. So stay tuned to Top Shelf Hockey. I'll keep you all up to date with all the latest breaking news. So consider subscribing if you're new and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time. Thank you.